What up everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with another coordinate plane lesson. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about finding the distance between points on our coordinate plane. So let's check out our map today to see what our objective is today. Our objective today. Today I will be able to find the distance between two points or ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. All right, so conceptually, what are we talking about when we're talking about finding the distance between ordered pairs? So in our previous lessons, we've talked about what the coordinate plane is, our x, our y axis, how we find, how we shuffle on the carpet before we climb up the steps. So if you don't know any of that, you need to go back and check out our previous lessons. But today we're talking about finding the distance between two points, right? So when we talk about that, we are talking about how far apart they are on the coordinate plane. And this seems like a simple concept, but it's something we wanted to touch on. Because we can find the horizontal distance, we can find the vertical distance, or we can even find the diagonal distance. Now, today we're only going to be focusing on the horizontal and vertical distance, because you need to understand a little bit about Pythagorean theorem to do the diagonal, so we'll do that in a little bit later lesson. But, but today we're going to be talking about how far horizontally two ordered pairs are, and then how far vertically two ordered pairs are. So let's take a look at this question. How far apart are the light blue dot and the purple dot horizontally, right? So horizontally, obviously side to side. So we're talking about the x-axis and looking at that. And we're really talking about the absolute value between the two ordered pairs. I didn't want to put the numbers on this coordinate plane at first, but see if we have one, two, three, four, five, right? You would see that this purple order pair is 5, 3, and this light blue order pair is negative 1, 3, right? So a lot of people would just say the distance between them is 5 because purple is 5 away from 0, but we're talking about the absolute value, right? How far apart are they from each other on this number line, which on a coordinate plane we call the x-axis. So you can see right here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. There are six away from each other. So my answer would be six units. And if you know about negative numbers, you could actually subtract the x ordered pair right here and do five minus a negative one. But if you're not sure about negative numbers, it's okay just to plot them on the coordinate plane and then count the difference between them. Our next question says, how far apart are the red dot or is the red dot in the purple dot vertically. I'm not sure my subject verb agreement is there. A little bit of a fail, but that's okay. We're talking about math here, right? Not reading. So again, how far apart are these two ordered pairs vertically on my number line? And again, if I labeled my y-axis here, right? That'd be one, two, three, four. This would be negative one, negative two. So my ordered pair for purple, which we already know is five, three. My ordered pair for red would be five, negative two. And we're talking about the y-axis and how, how far apart they are vertically. Really what we're doing is we're looking right here at the y-ordered pair. So the easiest thing to do, if you're not super familiar with negative numbers or integers yet, is just to count how far apart they are, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So they are five units apart vertically. And then also, if you recognize the pattern with number lines and how the y-axis and x-axis are just number lines, right? You could do three minus negative two, and you could find the difference would be five. But again, we're not gonna really touch on that. I just wanted to mention it for those who have that background knowledge. So you can see where you could be going um, and saving you some time of actually having to graph them on the coordinate plane. So this is conceptually what we're talking about today. Let's take a look at what this might look like in a problem. So here we're given four ordered pairs and we're just very simply asked to find the difference horizontally between the blue and purple ordered pair, the red and purple vertically, and then the light blue and bl uh, blue, and then the light blue and blue vertical. Okay, so how far apart are the light blue and purple horizontally? So the easiest thing, you don't even need to know the ordered pair. You could just kind of count how far this is right here, right? And that'd be one, two, three, four, five. So they are five units, okay, apart horizontally. Again, if you did look at the ordered pairs, you'd see that my light blue ordered pair is one, two, three, negative four, 
okay, because I went four to the left, and then going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then my purple would be one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because it should be the same. And you could look right here at the X ordered pair, right? Because again, the X axis is running horizontally on the coordinate plane. So if you found the difference between negative four, so negative four minus a negative one, you would get negative five, right? So the absolute value of negative five, the distance between them is just five. So again, you can do it on the coordinate plane or you can use your negative number knowledge, right? We've introduced absolute value previously in lessons. So if you don't know what that is, check out our absolute value lesson. But really, it's just how far apart two numbers are on the number line, not taking into consideration any signage. So not negative or positive, just what is the magnitude uh, between the numbers? How far apart are they? So even though that these were negative five when we subtracted them, we're really looking at the absolute value, which is the same as when we count them. Oh. So now we want to find out how far apart are the red and purple vertically, right? So again, we're looking at the absolute value of this distance right here. How far apart are they? And we can see on the coordinate plane, we could just count up, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they are nine units apart. And then if you wanted to do the ordered pair and do it mathematically without having to graph it, right? Your red is at negative, or sorry, one, negative two. And we're looking at vertically, that's referring to our y ordered pair, right? Because it's on our y axis. So seven and negative two. And if you did seven minus a negative two, right? That would really be nine. So they, an absolute value of nine is nine, right? So they are nine units apart on the number line. Now, really quickly, I want to show you why we talk about absolute value, because if you switch this around and you do negative two minus seven, you're going to get negative nine. It just depends on what ordered pair you went and if you went up or down vertically. Well, guess what? The absolute value of negative nine is still nine. So they are nine apart on the number line. And then this last one, ask a little bit different, but really asking us for the same thing. What is the vertical distance between the light blue and the blue? So easiest thing to do, right, is just count them on the coordinate plane. They are one, two, three, four, five. So it is, they are five units apart. And then again, if you want to do it with ordered pairs with the numbers, you just start at zero, right? Shuffle on the car before you climb up the steps. One, two, three, four. So that's negative four because I went to the left. And then, oh, sorry, I guess I should be writing that over here. Negative four and then two. And so if you look at this, right, I'm going to be looking vertically. So I'm looking at my Y ordered pair and seven minus two would still give me a difference of five. So you can do it mathematically or on the coordinate plane. Now let's take a look at a U try problem where you can apply this in a real world situation. All right, here's our U try problem. We're going to read through it. I'm going to give you a little bit of background information and then you can pause it and try the problem. So instruct the beats took the temperature each day for four days in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, the high and low temperatures are plotted on the coordinate plane. Use the information to answer the questions below. Okay, so here we have our Y axis and these numbers are going to refer to our temperature. Okay, really it's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit and that should be on there, but I didn't write it, so I'm going to write it now, right? So our Y axis, this is going to be our temperatures in Fahrenheit. Our X axis is our days right here. So day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. All right. And if you've ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina, these temperatures probably aren't super accurate because it's not typically 20, and I don't think it's ever been negative six where I live, right? Brrr. Uh, but we have the high and low temperatures. So our high temperatures are in red our low temperatures are in blue. That's why there's two temperatures on each day, okay? So high and low. So the temperatures ranged in between 20 degrees and six degrees on day one, okay? That's why there's two points on each one. So our first question says, what was the biggest same day difference between the high and low temperature and on what day? And our second question says, what was the small same day difference between the high and low temperature and on what day. So if you think you're ready, in a second, you're gonna pause video and try it. If you're not ready yet, that's okay. You can continue to watch it. 
take this as another we do problem and add this question to the notes as we're talking through it. But if you're ready to try it by yourself, go ahead and pause it right now and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you just paused it, all right? And now let's check it out. So if I wanna know the biggest same day difference, I need to find out the difference for each day, right? So over here, what was the difference or how far apart are these on the number line? Ooh, ooh that is not a straight line. Let's try that one again. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go, right? So how far apart are all of these days? What's the distance between them on the number line? So over here, I'm gonna make a little uh, chart, right? Day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. Now you could have done this mathematically or just by counting on the graph that's on your notes. Uh, we do have notes, by the way, if you need to check those out, they're in the uh, description of the video. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and count them right here. And so that on day one, I now again, the scale is not one. That's another thing, I didn't point that out. I want you guys to really pay attention. But the scale's not going up one, it's going up two, right? So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So there is a 14 uh, degree difference on day one between the high and the low. Day two is only two, four, six degrees. Yeah, there, put a little degree symbol right there. Day three, I went all the way underneath zero, right? So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 degree difference. Day uh, four was two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Day five was two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So the answer to the first question, what was the biggest same day difference would be 22 degrees and that was on day three. Our next one was what was the smallest same day difference and that would have been six degrees and that was gonna be on day, on day two, okay? So you could have either used your coordinate plane on your notes or you could have written down the ordered pairs and solve it mathematically Either way is fine. For these, a little bit quicker just to count them on the coordinate plane because they're already there. Sometimes though, they give you the ordered pairs and you might just want to do it mathematically, right? So just remember, if you're talking about vertically, you're looking at the Y axis, which will be your Y ordered pair. And if you're talking about horizontally, you will be looking at the X axis, which is your X ordered pair. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online. We'd love for you to check out our website, instructthebeats.com. Check out our merch while you're there. We'd love for you to like, subscribe, let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instruct the Beats, out.